that were allowed to go in. They right. they, they took right. your prayers in there right. for you. Right. You know, the, 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 uh -huh. the people couldn't go into right. the uh, temples. Right. And so when mm -hmm. Jesus came and he saw how this, this structure was set up, uh -huh. you know, he knew that this was wrong, you know, mm -hmm. and he spoke out against this. And then he established his church, right. okay? Right. And right. then he sent Paul out to be his first preacher uh -huh. to carry the word and to preach the gospel. Go ahead. And so that's yes, right. Sir. Once that happened, yeah. this is when the and devil really the started. Right here. This is yeah. when the devil really yeah. started attacking that's the right. church and the people that's of right. the church. You that's know, right. because he wants to separate us from Christ. That's his mission: is to separate mm -hmm. us from Christ. Right. So whenever you are worshiping Christ and trying to seek Him, there you're going to find the devil trying to you make sure that, you yeah. don't do that. You know? The problem mm -hmm. I see is too many people are looking for. They ain't looking for the right God. They're just looking for the right God for right now. Everybody mm -hmm. wants yeah. instant blessings. So mm -hmm. the devil is, is, is knows your temptation, so they they look to him before they look to Jesus because right. if you join him, right. he don't care about your sacrifices or none of that. You know, you don't have to confess or believe. All you got to do is have sin in your heart. You mm -hmm. know, we as humans... We all have that dark side, and he knows our temptation. So right. people quick to sell out for that quick blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you just have to stand and wait. You know, not wait for you know instant right. gratification. Right. Right. That's it. Right. That's it. You know, I, I'm a little biased when it comes to the fact you. I mean, you, before the program started, you were mentioning about the different churches, uh -huh. and it's only one church. And that's the Church of God in Christ. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything yeah. else is just whatever it is. You right. know, but there's one church. And it's the Church of God in Christ, you know, right. and we have all these different other types of, you know, Lutheran and Methodist and yeah. you know Catholics, yeah. and mm -hmm. and everybody wants to, you know, have their form of uh, mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, of structure, of you know, belief, yeah. structure beliefs, mm -hmm. you know. Right. But right. if we are to believe the Word of God, mm -hmm. then then we can only we can we can, we can all only have to be of one mind about this. this yeah. I mean, this right. this yeah. word right here is a one. It's one word, one word, you know, yeah. and, and, and it, it doesn't have a thousand different variations. It's That's one right. word. Right. It's the word of right. God, right. and it's like the beginning says. In the beginning was the word. Right. The word was 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 living. You know, right. it's been around it's over been, two thousand years. Well, longer yeah. than that. It's been yeah, around longer a long than that. Time, you know? Long time. So I can't understand how all of these other you know denominations become confused uh -huh. and and want to bring about different doctrines yeah. and different ways right. to do things. That's right. man trying to that's, idolize themselves. That's, that's what it is. That's Satan yeah. working in a major way. way. Yeah. Yeah. Major yeah. way. You get your mind taken off of um, the things of Christ. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, since we already hit the uh, churches and we didn't hit the, um, the bodies of churches, uh, there was a scripture that I, when I seen my, my chairman on my digging board today, I looked at his shirt, and this is what it's really all about. And as you already know, it's 2 Timothy 2, 15. And it says, study to show thyself approved. Wow. Okay, maybe I should read that again. It says, study to show thyself approved. Probably in the American Standard Book, it would probably be read a little different. It would probably say, show your own self approved or something like that. But it well, says, brother, let the people out there know what do that mean. I mean, educate me. Right. To study, thy, mm -hmm. study to show thyself approved, basically it's saying you have to study for yourself because there's going to be always opinions as people assuming on you right. mm -hmm. about you right and not only that Christians to right you. Yeah, about to Christians. you yeah okay yeah I don't have people prophesy and all that to me mm -hmm. but it's all like I say it's all about the, the personal relationship that you have mm -hmm. by studying to show yourself showing yourself approved mm -hmm. so it's all in the studying that's right and it goes on down to also say a workman that needeth not to be ashamed we cannot be ashamed. Right. In the grocery store at the pack and save, yeah. I don't know if I should have shouted them out. <laughs> all other places that it's you go. It's not a pack and save commercial. It, it, yeah, it ain't a pack and save commercial. <laughs> but all the places we go, schools and in and, 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 and in our relationships, all right. throughout our walks of life, right. we gotta be an example unto that right. moment and that of that time. That's right. Act like you do when you're in the club. But doesn't you know? that doesn't that really mean that not to be ashamed yeah. of our works in Christ? Right. You know, right. the work we right. do for Christ, right. we're not to be ashamed, ashamed of that. Ashamed of that. Right. I mean, actually, that's something we need to be very proud of. Very proud yeah. of. Very proud yeah. of yeah. that yeah. we yeah. are we set, uh, apart. We we set, set apart. Set apart. Set apart. see, everybody wants approval, and they want everybody to think highly of them. 
So they think it's not cool to be Christian or have that type of right. belief. Yeah. Right. That's what I meant by act like you do when you're in the club. If you yeah. if you call yourself a Christian, you got to be a Christian all the time. Not just when you're in church, but 24-7. Yeah. Every day you wake up, yeah. you, you know. Yeah. You're a Christian. You got that's no right. business in the club right. in the first yeah. place. So, yeah, that's you know, right. right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother show, D. You can just start it up. You're talking about the church. <laughs> You'll be surprised. You already know we have fun at 37th Street. Like You'll be surprised, though. You hang out at a club, you see who creeping up in that club. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to sound like this, a hypocrite, but. Then I'm going to end this verse right here on uh, verse 15. It says, rightly dividing the word of truth. Woo. So it's true words in this word. Oh, yeah. We're going to have this time. We're going to let each brother kind of close us out. We just have a few more mo moments left on the show, mm -hmm. and we're going to give it back to them, and they're going to pretty much just um, talk about the, uh, their relationship with Christ or whatever they want to do. We're going to just turn over to them because they already know right. what to do. Right. Uh, to my far right. I just, brother like I Swain. said, when I started off, I would like to thank Jesus Christ for all he's done to me done for me, all the things he brought me through, the blessings. I mean, it's an honor sitting up here with these brothers. I mean, a lot of knowledge, yeah. a lot of love on this stage. And uh, to be accepted into a family like this of 37th Street Baptist Church, yeah. hi, Uncle Doug. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of love, and I'm real grateful. I'm real grateful. Yeah. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, I, I think that, for me, the church is a, it, it, it's, it's a life, it's a life, uh, what do you call those things you throw on your neck and you drown in the water, you know? Life preserver. Life preserver, yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. life preserver because during, That's right. during the week when you're away from church, Satan attacks you mm -hmm. daily, you daily. know, and, and mm -hmm. he, he causes so many things to happen in your life that, yeah. that are unpleasant things and That's things right. you have to deal with. So when you go to church on Sunday, it's a reviving thing, it's a refreshing you get the spirit of the, the Lord, the anointing again to prepare right. you for that next right. week. So, Amen. so the church is it's it's it's, it's essential. Y'all gotta have it. Every That's week. right. Gotta have it. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Amen